Giulio Regini was an Italian Cambridge University graduate who was abducted and tortured to death. In Egypt, Regini was a PhD student at Girton College, Cambridge, researching Egypt's independent trade unions, and a former employee of the international consulting firm Oxford Analytica. He grew up in Fiumicello, a former comune in the province of Udine in northeastern Italy. Regini's mutilated and half-naked corpse was found in a ditch alongside the Cairo-Alexandria highway on the outskirts of Cairo on 3 February 2016. His recovered body showed signs of extreme torture, contusions and abrasions all over from a severe beating, extensive bruising from kicks, punches, and assault with a stick, more than two dozen bone fractures, among them seven broken ribs, all fingers and toes, as well as legs, arms, and shoulder blades, multiple stab wounds on the body including the soles of the feet, possibly from an ice pick or all like instrument. Numerous cuts over the entire body made with a sharp instrument suspected to be a razor. Extensive cigarette burns. A larger burn mark between the shoulder blades made with a hard and hot object. A brain hemorrhage. And a broken cervical vertebra. Which ultimately caused death. Italian and Egyptian officials conducted separate autopsies on Regini's corpse with an Egyptian. Forensic official reporting on 1 March 2016 that he was interrogated and tortured for up to seven days at intervals of 10 to 14 hours before he was finally killed. The Egyptian autopsy findings have still not been made public. A 300-page report of the Italian autopsy findings has been handed over to the public prosecutor's office in Rome and denies earlier reports of signs of electric shocks administered to Regini's genitals. On 24 March 2016, Egyptian police killed in a shootout four men who were allegedly responsible for kidnapping Regini. According to a Facebook post from the official page of the Ministry of the Interior, the gang specialized in kidnapping foreigners and stealing their money. In a raid on the flat of one of the gang members, the Egyptian police claimed they found various items that belonged to Regini including his passport and student photo IDs. However, witnesses told Declan Walsh and other journalists that the gang members had been executed. Not shot while riding in the van. One was shot as he ran. His corpse later positioned inside the van. Their link to Regini was also suspect. Italian investigators used phone records to show that the supposed gang leader, Tarak Abdel Fattah, was 60 miles north of Cairo the day he supposedly kidnapped Regini. According to Declan Walsh, the new Cairo prosecutor's office later denied that the criminal gang was involved in his murder. Regini's passport and the other documents were handed over to Italian prosecutors on 1 November. Same year, during a positive meeting in Cairo, on 8 June 2016, Italian news agency Answer reported that Regini's tutors at Cambridge University had declined to collaborate with the inquest into his murder, to the disappointment of investigators and Regini's family. This had been anticipated by coverage in the Italian weekly L'Espresso on 7 June 2016, which reported that Regini's tutor Maha Abdul Rahman had followed advice from university lawyers not to collaborate with the inquest. The University of Cambridge strongly rejected the claims in a statement released to Varsity, the Cambridge student newspaper. Despite commitment on behalf of Cambridge University, as of early December 2017, British authorities had denied requests by the Italian prosecutors concerning the interrogation of specific individuals in Britain. On a similar note, Abdul Rahman had refused to speak to the Italian prosecutor. Such British inaction in the aftermath of the incident would be later described by Cambridge MP Daniel Zeichner as lack of tenacity. Following the controversy that played out in the media, Abdul Rahman eventually agreed to be questioned by Italian authorities and received praises from the Italian Minister of Foreign Affairs for having chosen to cooperate. In November 2020, Italian magistrates concluded the investigation into Regini's torture and murder, charging five Egyptian security officials as suspects in the case. The officials were set to face their trial in Italy. The investigation found that Regini was tortured and murdered by the officials after his doctoral 
Research led them to suspect him of being a spy. In October 2021, the trial of the four Egyptian police officers opened in Rome in their absence. They are accused of being behind the murder of Giulio Regini. Due to Regini's research activities and left-wing political leanings, the Egyptian police is strongly suspected of involvement in his murder in Egypt. Although Egypt's media and government deny this, alleging secret undercover agents belonging to the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt carried out the crime in order to embarrass the Egyptian government and destabilize relations BETW.